Welcome back to Homemade Cooking. Today we're making Can You Take It Deep Dish Pizza. Yes, I did this before, but it came out a little goofy, so we're doing it again. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take two teaspoons of yeast and an egg, and maybe warm water. Don't just put it in an egg like I did, but it worked out anyway. And mix that up, and you're gonna stir that 13 times. Please remember, I do magic with everything that I make. So, or was this 33 times? This was 33 times. No, it was 13. Do your magic. Right here, we're praying to God and asking him to make this not give anybody food poisoning, taste good, and give me health and wealth. That's why I'm skinny and rich. It's coming. Try to tell me I'm not. By the way, we're making the crust. I should have told you that. So you're going to put in a ridiculous amount of Italian seasoning. Um, and then you're going to put in a pinch of salt and a squeeze of honey. Honey makes everything sweet and it's considered the nectar of the gods. Sweet, not in the flavor, but in the um, magical parts of it. Now you're gonna add in a stick and a half of melted butter and you're gonna stir that up for your determined amount of times. Then you're gonna add in two cups of flour. Add in the first club, club, keeping it cup, and then stir that in. And then you're gonna add in the second cup and you're going to stir that in for 13 times. It was 33 times, God damn it. You know, I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna write it down on a piece of paper and then I'm gonna transfer it like a, like a real content creator. Now you're going to flour your um, yoga mat and you're going to start kneading it. You knead this 33 times and in between each 33, you say your desired spell. So mine, you can do, I use a Bible quote, ask and it shall be given you, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be open unto you. That's how you get stuff. You want stuff from God, say that and then thank him for whatever you have. Those are the magic spells I use. There's other ones and I can teach them to you one day. Um, and then you do it 33 times and in between each one, you say that spell and then you wrap it up, give it a kiss, tell it you love it and let it rest. Okay. So now she's all grown up. You're going to split her in half giggity. And please remember I'm as, I'm gentle with my stuff. I don't, I want people to feel the love in my food. I don't want to throw my dough around. You can watch me flower my, um, my rolling pin. Uh, you know, where this could be a spell for um, getting laid or getting a man, uh, anything. So, you know, you put whatever you need in it. <laughs> uh, and now you're going to roll out your bottom crust because you're going to have two crusts. You're going to have the top crust that goes over the stuff and you're going to have bottom crust. It's a deep dish. So roll that out. If you can do it 13 times, do it. You might need to do it as many times as you can. Um, so you don't have to do the magic numbers with every single thing you do, unless you're one of them type of witches or warlocks or whatever you want to be called. And by the way, when you're rolling it out, measure your pan above it. So show like hover it above it to see if it's over the pan because you want to account for the depth of the pan and you want to be able to have it fold over just a little bit. It's never pretty for me. It's never pretty. I'm not pretty. But you know what I am? Savory. Don't be a pretty bitch. Be a savory bitch. Now. Make sure when you're putting your bottom crust in there, you push it all the way around. You don't want any air bu bubbles. Then uh, I cut it and I just make a star shape, uh, but you can do whatever you want. Most people just stab it or something. Now you're gonna roll up the top dough, roll it out, roll it up. And look, okay, I lived a long life, a long, hard life. Roll it out just enough for it to fold over everything you're gonna put in it and the pan. Because if it doesn't, then it's going to fall into the pan. It's going to melt. By the way, I pre-baked my bottom crust, but you don't have to. We bake everything on 365 because that's a circle. And everything comes around in the end. Here I am just fucking with the air bubbles like a goofball. You can pop out the air bubbles or whatever. I'd be terrified of it to explode. So I like to pop them all out. So 
So we're gonna put provolone cheese on the bottom, then we're gonna put sliced pepperoni, and then we're going to put um, mozzarella cheese at the top. I don't like pre-shredded cheese. It tastes weird. It's got like a weird film on it. So I grab, if I can grab the block of cheese myself and slice it, I do. If not, or shred it myself, I do. If not, then, you know, we go with what we have, slices of cheeses or whatever. But I'm telling you that pre-shredded shit, it has goop or dust or sawdust. I don't know what it is, but it tastes weird. So because this pizza and this food I'm making is a spell for growth, put all of your ingredients in clockwise. All of your stirring is gonna be done clockwise unless, you know, you fuck something up and you gotta go back and start. But hey, shit happens. But put everything in clockwise as much as you can, as best as you can. Because clockwise is for growth. Counterclockwise is for loss, like weight loss spells or getting someone off of you. Now you're going to um, put your mozzarella in there. Like I said, do everything clockwise until you can't do it clockwise. And I just kind of was throwing shit everywhere with this. Because I fucked up mozzarella lots of times. Let me tell you something about mozzarella. It expands and it melts. It holds a lot of fucking water. So when you put it in things like pizza or a goddamn roux sauce for mac and cheese, it will fuck your shit up. So I like to slip it up, or, uh, strip it up into uh, tiny little chunks and stuff and just put it everywhere you don't want it spotty but you don't want it to go crazy and and cause yourself to have a liquid mozzarella cheesy gooey sticky glue mess i almost hated mozzarella for a while now this part is optional but do it how i do it um add in your uh a little bit of your pizza sauce not a lot to the bottom i like it a little bit at the bottom because it gives it the flavor makes the flavor go throughout it then you're gonna put on your top piece that's not optional put the top piece on i don't know why people do it without a top piece it just everything melts and falls into it then it looks goopy and goofy make sure you press it into the sides and it's folded over the sides as well that way it doesn't fall in and melt or explode Then you're going to pour over the rest of the sauce. I ran out of sauce, so I use pasta sauce. And just so you know, pasta, pasta sauce on pizza sauce is a little bit goofy flavored, but it tasted good. Okay, my roommate said it was good. And if it gets his seal of approval, then people eat it. By the way, use your magic wooden spoon and do this 33 times. Then you can tear off some of the edges and then you're going to put it in the oven on 365 for 33 to 36 minutes or more if your oven needs to. And there it is. See, she came out beautiful. I took the best picture I could. Make sure you stay fucking skinny. Bye.